Hey everybody, I'm running late today, but I've been working all morning, listening to a book, an audio book, finishing up one and starting another one, and I just kind of let time get away from me, but it's kind of dreary here today, and we're, we're still looking at things in sync reflections and everything we do is in this book. Just, just everything we do is in this book. So taking our time going through it, you know, a lot of people want to read it overnight. Not, not a good way to, to let things absorb. You may want to read it and then you want to go through it a little at a time. But yet last night, uh, Fly Lady Tammy sent me a text message and she had this little God, God breeze, God whisper come to her. And it was about 12, how did, how did, how did she put it? It was 12 ways to help your home shine. And I said, well, that doesn't sound like anything I've written. And she looked for it on the website and couldn't find anything. And I, it may be something that she needs to, needs to write, which is wonderful. Um, but she thought it meant, she thought it was a reference to the 12 months in a year. And tw yeah, we practice a new habit every single day. Every single day we practice a Every single month we practice a new habit and, and it starts out in January with shining our sink or when you first join, it starts out with shining your sink. And then we, um, declutter 15 minutes a day in February and March, we practice getting dressed to lace up shoes in, f in April, we practice making our beds in May. We're moving for 15 minutes a day in in June, it's drinking our water. We've been working on that. July is swish and swipe. We're practicing our swish and swipe this month. August is is laundry. September is your before bed routine. That's getting ready, getting the kids ready to go back to school. Getting in that routine. It's hard when you've let them go all summer and they sleep late and go to bed late. Then there's... October is paper clutter. We deal with our paper clutter. November is, you know, getting, it's mini planning, just a simple mini planning. And you can use the calendar to mini plan. This calendar is great for mini planning because the boxes are big enough to do that. Oh, my eyes are itchy. I just put makeup on and I think I'm getting more allergic to it as I as I go. Then December is pampering, is our pampering month. That's where we, you know, we come up with a bunch of little, uh, little cards. I got these cards. Make you, make you your own pamper deck of cards and make 30 of them. Imagine going through 30 cards every month to, to pamper yourself. Everything from shave your legs to pluck your eyebrows, uh, paint your toes and condition your hair, you name it. We could come up with some wonderful, wonderful pampering missions. But those 12 things are all part of our morning routine, our, our basic weekly plan, our, our afternoon routine, our before bed routine. Think about it. All of it is in there. And doing those 12 things every, every day, your house is, and you, your house is going to look wonderful and you're going to feel good because you're pampering yourself, you're drinking your water, you're making your bed so it feels good in your bedroom. Just look, laundry's done. It's a wonderful way to live is having those 12 things done. Now, my little jar of fun things, it's, it's 20 things. It's our, ba it's our 
weekly home blessing hour is in here. Our morning routine, our before bed routine. All of this is in here along with a couple of reboot your laundries because we forget about it. It gets put in the washing machine and then we forget to put it in the dryer and before you know it in these hot days it gets soured. So you see we can do this. We really can do this. We make a game out of it. We have fun with it. It's just a, a great way to do things. So folks, I think I'm going to go take a nap. It's, uh, it's nasty outside and I don't know what we're doing for dinner, but we'll probably go somewhere. Yep, laundry's everywhere. And while you're at it, rebooting your laundry, when you get off of this video, reboot your phone. Our phones need to be rebooted. I mean, turned all the way off and turned back on at least once a week. It'll make things much nicer. Tuna, oh, tuna casserole sounds good, except I'm not eating carbs right now. Uh, so check out my new book. I've got some sample pages. It's, um, it's, I, I will, we'll give you a link to it, but it's got some cuteness graphics. Look at all these critters. Look at all these critters. This is our critter section. Can you see them? Yep, yep, yep. That's our, it's just really cute book. I know you are going to love it. I mean, it is just, it's a fun book. It is so fun. And, you know, just take some time. Tomorrow is our, today's family fun day. And then tomorrow is Renew Your Spirit Day. And just, you know, enjoy some time with your family today. And then take some time for yourself. I didn't sleep well last night. My, my neck has been bothering me. About a month ago, I had a dentist appointment. And I got really tense in the dentist chair. And he was pushing and I was pushing against it. And I think I pulled a muscle in my neck. So my son told me last night to put some heat on it. And I'm doing, I've done that for a couple of hours this morning and the heat really makes you sleepy. <laughs> but I've been trying to get some work done at the same time and listen to a couple of books. Finished one on the Revolutionary War because I was reading that during uh, the 4th of July week. So find some good book to read. Curl up with it. And... Oh, Universal Studios is fun. Yes, it is. Well, y'all have a good day. I promised everybody I wouldn't be on long today. And, you know, that could boost me up if I had some iced coffee. But I had a good cup of coffee this morning. So check out the book. And you can pre-order it now. And they'll ship it out in December. I hate that it's December coming out. I just really hate that. How do you deal with burnout and exhaustion? Well, first off, you've got to understand that we crash and burn all the time. And we have to implement ways to keep us from crashing and burning. And the best way to do that is with a timer, folks. With a timer. If you'll set your timer, that'll get you started but then take a break afterwards for the same amount of time. Pace yourselves. Just pace yourself. We go 90 miles an hour until we got two speeds. 90 miles an hour or dead stop. And dead stop, that's because we've crashed and burned. So let's pace ourselves through doing things instead of working ourselves to a frazzle and not feeling like you're able to do anything. So we don't have to crash and burn anymore when we use our timer, when we play little games with ourselves. We don't have to do that anymore. Oops. All we have to do is pace ourselves. Remember the, the tortoise and the hare, the, the, the parable of the tortoise and the hare. And 
it's a great way I might have to put that on the list to to um, recycle that that essay because the tortoise won the race because he was slow and steady instead of you know speedy Gonzalez and craziness manic behavior and then crashing and having to sleep it off I mean we don't have to do that to ourselves anymore we can get ready for any holiday we want by taking baby steps thinking a little ahead of time I mean school is going to be starting before you know it. what things do you have to do before your kids start back to school if they're going to be in sports they need to have physicals you're going to have to you know get some supplies I bet their supply list is already online at the schools get things going get things going yes you can buy the book in the bookstore in December most of the places won't even charge you for the book right now until it sh actually ships so we have to learn how to pace ourselves we know all the things that has to be done for school to start the kids are going to need school clothes a lot of them can wear their summer clothes but some of them may have to have uniforms and by the time you get around to ordering the uniforms they're already out of stock on some things think about doing that now you know the things that have to be done to get kids ready to go to school the, the supplies pick up a few things every week just pick up a few things every week you can you can have them ready get on Amazon and look the, look at stuff I mean uh, Amazon Prime Day is Monday the, the 16th you could save a lot of money on Amazon Prime Day and there's lots of school supplies now Target and Walmart and all those places just as you walk in the door and while you're buying school supplies be sure and get plenty of poster boards and things that they're gonna need you know things to do presentations that you can stash behind the couch or, or, or you know get some clips bulldog clips and hang them on a hanger and hang them in the back of the closet so they don't get messed up you got ways to put things up where they can't find them get your school supply closet going instead of having a pantry put together a school supply closet where they can get their notebooks and all the things they need in this school supply closet so you're not running to CVS in the middle of the night to get ready for something so I don't know who doesn't do Facebook but you can sign up for our emails anytime I send stuff out all the time and then our Facebook live every time I get through with Facebook live I download it from Facebook and then I upload it to YouTube I and I embed it in our website so there are no excuses anybody can see me that wants to see me see me run my mouth so I'm getting one ready for that's yep getting getting ready for Amazon has a great getting ready for college bed spreads a whole nine yards I've helped a couple of people get ready for college it's fun so folks have a good rest of the day do something fun with your family go to a movie do something fun you know there's a movie app and I don't know what it is but my niece was telling me that she bought for ten dollars she got you could go see a movie every day I can't imagine that but they she and Gabe love to go to movies so there's some great stuff out there if you just look for it I'll have to find out what that app is from from Jessica uh, Patty may know if she's on here so folks have a good day I love you all and I will see you tomorrow yeehaw bye movie pass is that what it is That's interesting. See you later. Got my magic wand. <laughs>